Welcome to Chicago Bears 360, keeping it a buck with Coach T. You know I roll in silence On the road to them Benjis I fill my teeth with diamonds I'm high as fuck in the sky You would've thought I'm pilot I'm from Chicago It get ugly Fill the streets with violence Life like chess Move to pieces You know I roll in silence Past, present, future We bear down Welcome to Chicago Bears 360 with Coach T. Listen, if you like what I'm putting down as far as the breaking down of the tape, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Listen, we finna get into this tape this week, this film this week, and we're gonna see uh, the Chicago Bears build new laser and Coach Nagety establishing our identity. Here we got 12 personnels, right? So we got Alex Bars in the game as an additional tight end, two tight ends, and one running back, one running back, two tight ends. That's 12 personnel. And we're playing straight up bully ball here. We're establishing an identity. This gives us something to build off of because what happens is the defense has to respond to these 12 personnel by moving a safety up in the box, right? So if we do the count right here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's probably single high safety back there. So that means there's additional bodies down here in the box and they have to do that. What you wanna do is force them to move a body down here so we can set something up and we can go over their heads with something deep down the field. That's how you create a big play. So let's clear this up. We're setting everything up and it's just man on man. It's big body on big body. As I always say in my videos, there's no adjustment for, we're just bigger and badder than you. Listen, you just either gonna have to step up or shut up or get run over. You gonna have to get on the train, roll the film, Boom, we get a body on the body. You can see uh, Sam must have forgot his hands full right there. That's a man on the other side of the field. And this is the first play of the game, so everybody still has their full strength. They're not worn down at all. And you see Sam has his hands full right here. But, hey, number eight has good depth perception, good vision, finds a hole and gets up in there. Um, good seven to eight yard game. This is it. This is the identity. Here you see your boy Bill Laser adding a little wrinkle to the bully ball game, right? So what he wants to do is try and get these linebackers to move it out of the out of their responsibility, get them to start flowing outwards towards the uh, the hitch motion right here by faking the hitch out there, but he's still giving it. And if you notice something different, right, to uh, I identity here. And uh, that's different than the past is we refuse to do I formation here within the last two years. But you see that Bill is bringing a whole new attitude to this offense. So again, he wants to get these guys, these linebackers kind of flowing to the uh, to respect the hitch motion, or again to get these cornerbacks and safeties to moving up because you're trying to create a, a, a space or an opportunity where they bite. And then later on, you set up a play to get down the field if they start biting too hard on this. But again, these are all set up plays. And we're asking the fan base to be a little bit patient because you may not see it this week, but it may come next week because the upcoming teams, Green Bay and the upcoming teams, they're going to watch this film and they're going to expect these plays coming. So these might be setups for the next week. We roll the tape, quick fake hits, get them flowing outside, see if they bite on it, and we get up in there. Five, six, seven, eight yard gain. Listen, be fake patient, it's coming. Now I'm only showing this play for you Bears fans that think that we're supposed to score on every play, especially when we're trying to establish a run game, trying to establish an identity. Listen, when we're playing this style of offense, it's much like a heavyweight boxing fight. And these run plays are like body blows. Bowls is going to the body. You may not see them in the first or second quarter, but rest assured, third and coming late third and fourth quarter, it's going to start setting in because these big guys up here, listen, they don't want that smoke. They don't want 
you know, four quarters of just simply running the ball down their throat. So plays like this, the fan base has to be patient because listen, we're not gonna get 12 and 13 yard gains every time. You're gonna have some one and two yarders. We're gonna have to fall forward on a couple plays like here, Damian Williamson. Not the greatest vision, I have to say, out of the two running backs. Not the greatest vision, but I think we need to move Herbert to the number two spot um, because Damian Williamson. So now we got to take a look at the bad because guess what? Bill is not infallible. He has some bad play calls too. I think this is probably one of his not so great calls. He goes with a straight, you know, quarterback sprint to the outside and he's just trying to get outside. There's no guessing for the defense. All they have to do is run here. What I would like Bill to do if he's gonna actually run the quarterback and have him take hits, why not go with the traditional zone read? Have Khalil Herbert uh, fake because you've been setting up this run all night. So why not go with the traditional zone read? Get those guys going this way in a zone motion and then get Justin out on the perimeter. And you're at least setting something up. And then you can also come back after this play with the RPO. Just don't understand this call because, you know, Las Vegas has a fast defense already. And you can see the results of it. It just gets shut down from the beginning. All the defensive end or cornerback has to do is come out and establish leverage on the end and force everything back to the inside and play shut down. This play is quickly becoming a staple of our offense. Again, you're gonna see the eye candy, something I've been asking for for weeks. Darnell Mooney coming on a fly motion. What that's gonna do is get the defense linebackers to respond to it by flowing outside. And then we're gonna come back with the weak side zone play and get up there. This is the actual play we scored on later on, but this is coming a staple of our offense. Watch it, see how we block it. We're gonna get those guys going down in the weak side zone, uh, zone play, get those guys moving uh, in, a, in a weak side zone type of format. And then we're just gonna wash down and Damian's gonna get to the outside. We actually scored on this play right here later. So watch the, watch the linebackers response to the motion right here, right? They're responding to Donnell Mooney coming here and they're actually clearing the lane. Great play design. Again, it doesn't look pretty because we want to go down the field with 30 plays, pass plays, but you can see the linebackers have to respect Mooney on the fly motion. And they're totally out of their uh, responsibility of playing run first. Great play design. Hey, when I say Khalil Herbert has better vision, we're just not making this stuff up. If you look at this play right here, you see Damian Williams brings it, simple handoff, body on body. But if you can see, right, and I think Khalil Herbert would have saw this, right? It's about depth perception, right? So when you're running the ball, bodies are actually either moving towards you or coming away from you. And the running back's ability to judge that tells him where to go. I refuse to believe Khalil Herbert wouldn't have seen that we had this sealed on this side right here and got out here. But you can see the results of the play. Damian Williamson, for whatever reason, I think, you know, the year off might have affected him. And then another not so great thing about this is we have, you know, Demarius Bird on the back side. You got to understand your personnel. You got to understand who's in the game. Why not run out here where you got these hogs sealing off this side? and get in the end zone. It's not perfect, but just showing you how I believe Khalil Herbert's vision is just a little bit better than Damian Williamson. He runs up in there, three bodies, three defenders, where you had the outside out there and just get stuffed. Listen, man, I've been calling for it all years. Quarterbacks just have, just have chemistry with certain players, man. And this guy really showed up in the preseason. I think him and Justin, along with Rodney Adams, have special chemistry. We gotta find a way to get them more reps. Here it is, a simple uh, play action pass has been set off, set up off the runs earlier. Justin being an athlete and just getting out, using his legs to get out to perimeter and finding Jesper Horstead on this uh, simple uh, uh, flag route right here. Listen, man, we got to find a way to get this guy reps, get him in the game. Great play action fake right here. But Justin using his legs to kind of buy himself some time. But just for Horstead just has a knack for 
Man, snagging balls out of the air and just making plays. We got to get this dude some more reps. Listen, man, it's not Montgomery, but it's Diet Montgomery. That's what I'm going to start calling Khalil Herbert. Diet Montgomery, right? DM, right? We got Demo and we got DM for Diet Montgomery. This is Khalil Herbert, man. Watch the vision, man. This guy just gets busy, right? So now, again, we spread the defense out and going with like a trips look, right? Over here, so we motion Allen Robinson over here to spread the defense. We're taking bodies out of the box from the defense, right? We we're, ma we're making them respect that trips look over there, and then we're creating space. And again, we get our uglies on their uglies, right? Getting busy, and we just let Khalil find his way. I just believe he has better vision than Damian Williamson. Man, watch the watch him just create. A seven or eight yard gain just simply with his vision alone, similar to Demo, right? It's big on big. We trap actually, trap action with uh, Jason Peterson, right? Coming off the edge right there. So we give him a trap look. He's supposed to get a little bit more flat. Jason Peterson has to get a little bit more flat and actually get his head on the left side of the defender right there. Right, to seal him inside and to seal this hole, this gap right here, but still Khalil does a great job of getting up in there, right? So his head is supposed to see the defender going for leverage right there. He knows what side his head needs to be on. So Jason Peter has to make sure his head's on the left side to seal that inside, right? But watch Khalil, he sees that Jason's head's on the wrong side. This is great. Look, look, man, that's great vision he sees the defender is going for where he's supposed to be right he knows that gap is supposed to be in there but he sees jason doesn't have the right leverage boom foot in the ground right there i'm going outside clear that up outside vision you can't beat that man that's diet david montgomery right there that's the diet version gets up in there pass down Watch this, Diet David falling forward, falling forward. What's that, a 10 yard gain? He's still falling forward. I'ma stop the play, this man's still gonna be falling forward. I like this little guy, Khalil Herbert, man. One of the things I think Bill does well is he actually set plays up. Cause you, so if you see, you saw this fly motion earlier, right? And there was a simple handoff to the running back off the fly motion up in the zone to get up, up in there. But you would see that Bill has answers to the play. So you expect the defense to recognize the fly motion and expect um, the simple handoff here. But I like the fact that Bill has plays off of his original plays. And again, everything should look the same, but have about a thousand different outcomes. So here he goes with the same motion, comes back to the screen. And even though the play doesn't go for a lot, I like the idea. I just think if we had Khalil Herbert right there, you know, we might we might get busy. If we take a look at the cuts, the blocks, and let's see what Damian had to work with here. Again, if we had Khalil Herbert, I'm thinking Khalil might see on this play, he sees, get up in there. If this guy's continuing to run in his man, come up here, put a foot in the ground, potentially get out there. I just think Khalil would have probably made more out of this play. That's just my criticism of it from a personnel standpoint, but great call by Bill. Wanted to show this play because, again, I believe Bill Lazor is back. This play is set up off of the run actions from earlier. And this is an example of what I was talking about. Again, we have a single high safety. The defense is trying to defend all this going on down here with one guy. And they're leaving huge zones open. And Bill is setting things up. So it's what I described earlier when I was talking about, hey, getting these guys and some kind of route combination, one running this guy off and somebody getting up here to get to the outside. Bill understands exactly how to attack a defense. And even though this play doesn't go, it still makes the defense respect the fact that we're gonna go downfield on certain plays so they can't go to sleep or rest on their lures. So we have a kind of uh, out and up motion out and up motion on Cole Komet. We have this guy 
His sole purpose really in this route is to occupy two men. So he has his man that's worried about him, but also there's a safety back here that's backing up. So he's occupying two, two guys, right? So this was just well defended for no, in order for them to recover. This is well defended and get a safety over there. And I think believe in the future we'll have a more accurately placed ball. Justin has to kind of throw this ball on the move, right? But once he's able to set his feet and deliver this ball, we're gonna see some big plays here. This is a great design that was set up perfectly. Again. You see the safety coming over late. If this ball's on point, Cole catches this ball. But this is Mooney's guy to occupy him in his route. So Mooney would have run this route and to keep this safety kind of over there late and try to force a one-on-one -on -one here. That's gonna be there in the future. Trust me. It doesn't, it, it didn't go right here, but we would, we would be screaming how dynamic this offense was had this play gone because it was a great design. See, the, one of the things I'm looking forward to in the coming weeks is I'm looking forward to a lot of single high safety in the passing game beginning to open up. I believe Bill Lazor is smart. He knows what he's doing. Listen, teams cannot continue, continue to play us single high safety with our speed, right? And they're gonna have to respond to these heavy personnel setting group, settings and groupings that we have in here. We got Alex Bars in here as an additional tight end, but again, we still have speed in the game, right? So they got an additional man in the box, right? They got an additional man in the box because we've established the run. But again, teams going forward, they can't be so concerned about this that they leave huge areas of the field undefended, right? So we can set some stuff up off of this in the coming weeks, especially when dealing with play action, right? So we undo some of this, some of these graphics right here, and we can go with something as simple as playing off of this in the coming weeks because now we have these huge areas of the field that's undefended because we've established an identity in running the ball. And now the entire flat is open here. So what you wanna do is maybe undo that. Occupy the safety with this first guy and then get this eye up here one-on-one -on -one with somebody and just get busy. Look forward to that coming up against Green Bay. I just like the idea that Bill has an identity established for us and he's beginning to set stuff up for the future. Not sure what the results of this play is, but we're gonna take a look at it. But I wanted y'all to say, pay attention to and see what this is actually doing for the defense in establishing a dive identity and then going forward, bro, we can build off of that. So we got a little fly motion right there. We're gonna hand it, right? And I'm going to show you right here something that I saw on film earlier, bro. Nobody wants to see this. Nobody wants this, this smoke right here, this wham motion with an extra offense. Usually that's a tight end or a fullback. But don't, nobody wants an additional offensive lineman coming off on a wham block. I'm telling you, Green Bay don't want that smoke at all. They're going to they're gonna be concerned about that this week. That's an extra 300 pound man coming off the edge with a running start. You see what the defender does, he makes it whiff. He actually goes against his assignment because yeah, he gonna try, listen, if he doesn't get out here fast enough, this dude, this running back is running for days, right? Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to see that guy coming off that edge, wham, fold motion, no. They're gonna have to respect that coming up in the, in the coming weeks. They're gonna have to bring additional bodies into the box and that's gonna open up opportunities in the pass game. Hey, and just to keep the defense honest, you see Bill right here shows them, hey, I'll go fly motion and go to the, to the side of the motion as well. So you can't expect that every time I go fly motion, I'ma run against the motion. Sometimes I'ma run to the motion. Again, Bills is doing a good job of keeping these guys off balance. You know, are we lighting up the scoreboard? You know, 80 points a game, 400 yards passing and 150 yards rushing? No, but if you ask them, the question is, are these play designs good? Are they set up? Does everything look the same, but has, you know, 50 
different outcomes and is it keeping the defense off balance right is it keep the defenders guessing and nervous and thinking absolutely so listen we have eye candy here so defenses can't just line up and tee off on our offense we've we've ran a fly motion here and ran against the fly motion but you're going to see on this play uh bill's running the fly motion here and he's going to run with the fly motion again just to keep the defense off balance and let them understand they're just not gonna be able to line up and tee off. They're gonna have to think and guess what he's gonna be doing. It looks simple, but he's actually putting a lot, lot into it. You see James Daniels out here getting busy, man. Come on with the block. Bro, listen, for whatever reason, the defender decides to lose his mind and leave his feet, and James Daniels, for the second week in a row, we got a Bear player putting a WWE smackdown on a defender. This is ridiculous right here. James Daniels auditioning for his post football career with the choke slam rock bottom. Yeah, nobody want that smoke. Now go subscribe.